Alright, so we finished modifying our Windows pre-installation environment WIM image and now we need to set up our ISO folder so that we can create the ISO and boot our um, Windows PE image into a virtual machine. So I'm just going to copy uh, our modified WinPE.WIM, go into the ISO folder, go to sources, paste it, and then rename it to boot.wim and that will uh, signify that this is the WIM image that I want to load on startup. Um, now we go back to the command line and uh, I'm just gonna set the environment real quick inside of PE tools you can use PE set environment to set the environment variable so we have all the tools um, and the uh, exe that we want to use is OSCD IMG and that will allow us to create ISO files so what we need to do is give it a boot file first with the dash B parameter and uh, without any spaces supply it this ETFS boot.com win PE ETFS boot.com and then we want to give it to the folder where our ISO is to be made from and then we give it the location where we want our ISO to be created and with those three parameters we can start building our WinPE ISO file and when it's complete I have a uh, little program installed called Virtual Clone Drive and I'm going to mount that ISO file to this virtual uh, CD-ROM drive. Next I'm going to open up Microsoft Virtual PC and I'm going to tell it to use Physical Drive E and then you'll see we're running Linux right now but I'm going to reset the virtual machine and we will boot it from the ISO. And you'll see we are now loading up a Windows environment. So the first thing that happens when WinPE loads up is that a batch file is executed which is located within the system32 directory of the WinPE image. So if you want it to load up and start executing some code or some process right away you would edit that file um, in the WinPE image before uh, you build this ISO to use it either in um, a USB stick or a CD. Uh, so it's executing basically at the start it, it uh, tries to configure uh, network connection and it also tries to uh, add uh, full USB support. Um, so now we're at a basically just a DOS command line. So um, if we had copied tools to to this image, then um, we could. Oh, it's X. Uh, we could use those tools. So you'll see we did copy a folder called lots of crap too so that folder is in there um, now what can we do with this so we've seen how we can uh, work with um, WIM files with ImageX and we've seen that you can load up a system using the Windows pre-installation environment and from here we have a command line well if we added ImageX to this uh, this image now we could capture an image that we've loaded Windows pre-installation environment into and copy it to another medium um, so this now is a customizable tool for uh, capturing deployment um, configuration management so there's a number of different things we can do and I'll cover those things in 
more videos but that is to get you started with uh, the win image format and the windows pre-installation environment so thanks for watching